How does Dan's Holloway deal with mattresses and bed-related items? So if you did not know, you cannot donate bed-related items. So bed frames, day beds, sleeper sofas, bean bags, futons. Those are all bed-related items that you cannot donate to donation centers. Now, do you know why? Mainly is because of the different problems that come along with that. Um, is there something wrong with it? Is something gonna break? Um, on top of that, like bed, bed frames, those are really big to display. Uh, like, so you don't know if you have all the hardware and such. So they just do not sell any of those items or take any of those items because of the problems that come with it. When people sleep on it, you know, there's a little weirdness to that. But, so since we can't donate them, and the big landfills, they charge per mattress, per box spring. You send a mattress and a box spring, you get charged twice. And that is not cool. A lot of those places are like 50 to $70 a piece. So if you're just gonna try to throw away a mattress and box spring, that's 100 to 150 bucks right there, just in fees. So what we did is we tried to find a different way. Um, now people do call us for mattresses, but a lot of times I try to refer out the furniture company that, uh, that sold them their new furniture furniture to take away their previous uh, previous mattresses because they can do it in a way way smaller cost and, and dispose of them in a way um, now for us we try to donate directly to families so instead of having to display it sell it do all these things and just cross your fingers that it's good we make sure that it's fine, and then we will find it a new home. Uh, one of our local charities will reach out and they say that they need this, this, and this, and then we can fulfill it. Uh, recently, one of our big furniture stores, they were throwing out a bunch of mattresses instead of throwing them away, or at least throwing them all away. They called us and they were like, hey, you guys find new homes for this. We'd rather pay you to take them than just throw them into the trash, which was amazing. So I have a bunch of queen mattresses for a lot of families around Denver. Now, let's talk about biohazards and bed bugs. So when we're talking about bed bugs and just bugs in general, a lot of times we're dealing with mattresses that have that kind of stuff. Now we do not deal with that at all. Uh, the second my guys call me and say, hey, there is bugs on this, we're out. Now, it does matter what kind of bug it is. You know, like if it's just like, you know, you see some cockroaches or something like that lying around, like it's probably not good. Uh, if you see like a cobweb, it's not that big of a deal, all right? But it, it really depends. If you're seeing a crap ton of bugs all over this and things are just crawling out of it, no problem, we don't want it. It's gonna infest our entire load and it's gonna make things problem, uh, a lot of problems in the future. Um, I don't wanna deal with any of that. I don't even wanna upcharge it. I just don't want it at all. What you got, bud? never seen that, Dan. Oh, we have seen bed bugs. I've gotten calls from guys and they're like, we don't even wanna walk in this house. We touched the mattress and it was just like, it just like everything moved. And that is super gross. I just tell my guys, get out of there now and then I'll deal with it. And essentially, I refer that out to another business, a junk removal type business, because I'm trying to save it, not just throw it away. Now, biohazards. Now, what does that really mean? Bodily fluids, you don't really know what it is. There's just like, it's wet, it's, ah, man. I don't want it, I don't wanna deal with it. So like if it's extremely go gross, let's just say you come up to a mattress and it is just soiled. It is just like really bad, heavy, still wet, probably not gonna take that either. Um, we try to be as clean as possible. I'm not trying to put myself in really disgusting situations. So we just avoid them in general and we just refer out to another business. Tell me what you think. Is it worth us taking that stuff? Do you have a better idea for those things? I want to hear your thoughts overall. So let us know in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe.